Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Vote for Holt, where tonight we are celebrating a thousand subs again with our 1,000 subs Kahoot. Joining me today is 30 members of the Discord, maybe more. Go ahead and say hi, everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> We've got people coming in from all over today. I know that we had someone who said that they just woke up in the morning and it's like 8 p.m. where we're recording. So it's it's definitely people coming in from all over. Uh, just to say who's not here, we will not be having Cheryl today. She was busy and she was the reigning champion of the first two Kahoots. So somebody will claim the title of Kahoot champion today and it will not be Cheryl. I can guarantee that. Another thing that's important to know today, though, is that Julian moved out about a week ago for college, and he's in his dorm room, so I actually made this entire Kahoot myself, so Julian will finally be, for once, competing as an actual player, and he's, he's going to be answering questions, too. So, yeah, uh, I'm finally a competitor. <laughs> it's it's yeah, going to be fun. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little nervous. Julian, what is your screen name right now? I'm, hit, I'm Hitmon Lee. Okay, he's, oh, he's Hitmon Lee. Fan. Yeah, he just got a shiny Chikorita, you know, what gem was that? Are you... Soul Silver. Okay, that we're getting off topic, but that's still really cool. He's been resetting for ages. Anyways, so this Kahoot, we went a little bit extra, or at least I did, and it is 50 questions instead of the usual 35. Each question will be allowed 20 seconds to pick an answer, and there will be four different answers. It's multiple choice, all of them are, and you just pick the answer that you think is correct. Some of them will have more than one correct answer. Sometimes it's just for a joke. Other times it's like actually part of the question. Uh, apart from that... Every fifth question will be worth double points. And so whenever you're on five, that question is going to be extra difficult. And it's going to be more points for one thing. So if you've never played Kahoot before, basically we're doing classroom rules. Nobody shout out the answer or I might have to kick you because we haven't had that problem yet. But I'm hoping we won't still. Uh, wow, my, my mind is just a blur. I'm just stunned that we hit 1,000 subs before the end of the summer. And I'm, ins I'm insanely happy that we are at almost 30 people in this Kahoot. The last one, we had like 10. So it, it was definitely worth subscribing for the full Kahoot membership. Otherwise, are you guys all ready? Is everyone on screen that's planning to play? Yeah. yeah. I am ready. Mm -hmm. okay. Ready to go. I was born ready. Whew. All right, then. We will start this off with a pretty simple question. It, it'll just be like a basically a calibration to make sure that everyone's computers are working. So without further ado, are we all ready to start? Heck yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's get into it. I hope I didn't make this one too long. Three, two, one. Thanks for a thousand subs, everybody. Oh. Woo. First question of the Vote for Holt 1000 sub special. Two, one. Who is the police's prime suspect at the beginning of Deadly Device? Oh. Easy. Simple. See, see that's that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. I want to make sure I want to make sure that we start off with just something simple to give people a chance to get their feet wet. Um, what? Jamie, there's no question. Oh, I just picked the wrong thing. How dare oh, I what? do this to myself? No! Julian, see if you can't open up a computer and, and find my stream on Discord. That's where you see the questions. Oh, oh well. Oh. Well, anyways. Um, oh, that's how we see the que Okay. I so, yeah, that was sorry. <laughs> that's that's cool. Don't worry about it. Um, See, that's that's why I do an easy question for the freebie. Sorry if that was um difficult. Say lovey. No refresh. <laughs> Okay, so going on to the next, we can go ahead and take a look here. The scoreboard shows that Weird Fishes was the first person to answer that. So they are in a lead of three points, and behind them, J-Cat, and then Claire, oh. Teos, and Andrew. So it's it's completely neck and neck right here in the top five. Ooh. Moving on to question two. What was the name of the ship whose driftwood Nancy finds in danger on Deception Island? <laughs> Zach, I'm coming for you. <laughs> really? Turn in the game. Yeah. Tell me why my stupid self literally tried to click on it on the screen. <laughs> the <bottom laughs> screen. Happens. All right. Uh, pretty good accuracy there. That's like over ninety percent, I think. SS Whitechapel Dawn. That's the red piece of driftwood that Nancy finds. Uh, SS Indianapolis is the ship that Quint from Jaws was on, and the biz uh, the yellow one is just the name of those pencils that I put SS in front of. So. There you go. Oh my god. I'm I'm a a J-Cat has dethroned weird fishes on the second Yay! question. I told you. But it's... Guys, there's... In. Okay. It is still anybody's game, just to let you know. Otherwise, it looks like the top five is more or less the same. Uh, Andrew moved up and Riley moved in. On to question three. What exotic pet does JJ Ling claim Dieter owns in oh, Danger by Design? Um... Oh, I hope I got this. Wait. 
The danger design antis are shaking. <laughs> I am one of them. My internet connection just decided to talk. Well, I think the tea puzzle just soured you. Oh gosh, please, not the tea puzzle. Somebody named themselves the tea puzzle. All right, that's uh, that was I think the best accuracy yet. We got 25 for Bow Constrictor, which is correct. Moving on, uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. J Cat got knocked out. Maybe she took a second. Oh. No, I accidentally took him on. That's why. Oh, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, Claire just shot up. I was Claire even in the top five? That's a bit of an upset. Moving on then, number four. Let's see. What currency is used in Sea of Darkness? Yet another oh. easy one. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> fish. Sorry, I shot at that one. It's very obvious. <laughs> the economy runs on fish. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so Kroner is the correct answer. Uh, oh, Ooh. boy, I, I got one vote for Hyekels, which is a word that I made up that looks kind of Icelandic, so I am pleased to see that. I'm coming up to you, Zach. Sort of Icelandic a Andrew and JCat back on the board, and Claire holds first place. Chaz versus Jazz right behind her. Moving on to number five. Double points here, everybody. First remotely difficult right. question. Who was not one of Puck's ham radio buddies from Secret of the Old Clock? To my knowledge, these are all oh Shakespearean names. Oh my god, I names. literally misclicked. I'm, I quit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I accidentally zoomed in. It took like way too long on one of these. <laughs> hey, that was still uh, pretty well done. Literally, one question I know. Well, anyways, that was double points again. Top ten right now. I'm Claire is still holding. Uh, that was a good question, Jamie. It's. Oh, I'm yeah, glad. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> uh, so it's Tina Bitch has cracked the top five, and we still have Claire in the lead with. Weird Fishes, J Cat, and Andrew holding on. These these three look like they are becoming some of the main characters here. Oh, and Z Blade is five in a row, which I'm sure a lot of you do. Okay, moving on to next. Should be another easy one. Who are the bad guys in the Silent Spy? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I I felt the need. Yeah. All right, so. Those yeah. are all just names of ghosts, but Revenant is also the name of the uh, terrorist organization from Silent Spy. So, phobia, huh? Andrew and J-Cat slightly changed places there, but otherwise the top five is unshaken. That's a pretty unique thing right there. <laughs> Moving on to number seven. Never early, never late. What? From Legend of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Arguably I love this puzzle. The best puzzle ever. Definitely. Uh, the pun names. All right, I'm I'm having difficulty shaking people. It looks like that was. I think that was the highest accuracy yet on any question. Uh, all the other names are answers to other riddles. I didn't make anything up there, so moving on to next. Missing you Ooh. Over underestimate us. <laughs> all right, it'll it'll get trickier. Just you wait. Chaz versus Jazz jumped right back to the second place spot, and uh, somebody just got knocked out of the top five, but I didn't see who. So moving on to the next one. <laughs> What kind of critter was Ranger Stink from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake? This was the mascot for the park ranger department. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You've got I, you have to really those context, hard. I would have not gotten that answer without what you just said. Okay, See? well, I, I couldn't fit everything into the taskbar. So, Skunk is the correct answer. That seems to have messed up a little, people. Uh, you see him on the pin that Jeff Akers gives you, and he's on the game over sequence when you burn down the entire forest. So... Misclick. Ooh, J Cat, I think just got bumped down to six. I'm in seventh place, I'm coming for One you guys. Point. Ooh. Z Blade has cracked the top five. Uh, don't worry, it's still anybody's game because we got plenty of questions to go. Is this number nine now? Yeah. What is the mysterious phrase Nancy must ask everyone about in Message in a Haunted Mansion? Oh. Do, do. She should have asked, where's the Winter Festival taking place at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare they not invite her? Yeah, that's... I'll never get over that. Says hey, we have... it could be in the remaster. Could you imagine it? <laughs> Why does it say we have 30 <laughs> answers if there's only 21 people in here? Did somebody else just join? I guess. I don't I didn't even know you could join the game. Okay, well, Gumbo Fu is the correct answer, which I believe translates to Gold Treasure Mansion or something. Why did I right-click? Okay, back to the leaderboard. Claire has been knocked from the top first spot. Yes! And, uh, Chaz vs. Oh. Jazz has overtaken her. Nice emojis there. <laughs> And we've still got Andrew and Weird Fishes. J Cat is still lingering somewhere beyond. Still yet to see him on Lee up here, I must say. <laughs> You'll come back. I, I have faith in you. Double points here. Extra tricky. Which dead Thornton does Wade describe as a mean old codger? Oh, 
It's the first thing he says about him when you find the tombstone. <laughs> I have been taking a break from Nancy Drew games, and that decision is biting me right now. <laughs> oh, the grind never stops. Hey! That is less than half of the players. All right. I went, I went off vibes alone you with that one. Rhyme. I was like, I feel like I heard this in, in one of the no commentary places. So. Oh, wow. Right. So, uh, I would definitely be this game not long ago. I would definitely be in the top five if I could answer the first question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see if you come back. That's my point. Tina Bitch is back in. Claire retook the throne. Oh, I think... Okay, no, just uh, Zach stayed in the same spot, but he did not go up or down, it looks like. That's uncanny. All right, on to 11 now. What dirt do the Hardy Boys dig up on Thanos Ganis in Labyrinth of Lies? <laughs> uh, I love the yellow. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, why is it... Let me... <laughs> the orange one. Oh, it didn't let me click for so long. All I'm going to say is, what a troubled man. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone, for the most part, got that one right. We had, uh, surprisingly, no votes for yellow, even though I, I was debating making that also a correct answer. <laughs> uh, Thanos Ganis is a murderer, as is uh, divulged by the Hardy Boys. He did some work for Kronos, the Greek Mafia. Uh, Z-Blade just got knocked from the top five, and Sylvia has cracked, yeah. cracked the ceiling. She's in it. So let's see yeah, how... Yeah, hell yeah. Let's see how long that lasts. I've got an 11, I've got an 11 win streak, dude. 11 win streak? There's probably yeah, a lot of people answer that. streak. Yeah. Wow. All right, on to the next one then. 12. What wildlife protection organization is Lupe a member of in White Wolf of Icicle Creek? I hit the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. Music to my ears. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. It's definitely Peta. Like, that's the wrong one. I stand. I stand. Run and grow free. They're kind of right. That's about a. That's about a, a even split right there. Pepsob is people for the preservation of something birds, which is what Red Knot is a member of in Game Seven, Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake, and uh, had it is. I I can't say what that stands for because uh, that's actually a question later. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa, that was a shakeup. Zach has taken the lead. Claire has gone down to second. Sylvia's still holding on to fifth place, and Abracadabra just jumped in. I don't think she was in the top five before. That's, uh, that's three times that Abracadabra has been in here. <laughs> nice. got kicked off the top five. Andrew will be back. I have, I have utmost faith. On to the yeah. next one. I'll come back from this. One Which pop star does the culprit quote in their villain monologue in Game 4, Treasure in the Royal Tower? What? How the heck am I supposed to know this? It's because it's a really oh, cheesy so line. Easy. It sticks yeah. out like a sore thumb. Oh, so easy. Um, I finished this game. Right there goes my. Now. I did not notice that. Oh, that was the wrong answer on my. It's it's the it's the nineties answer. I'll give you that. There it is. It's um, what the the culprit? I probably shouldn't say the culprit's name because I want to avoid spoilers if I can. But says this stupid thing about being a material girl in a material world, and the delivery is so botched. But yeah, I remember that. Okay, there it is. Uh, so cheesy. Riley has entered the top five. That's a new name. And uh, otherwise, Abracadabra just moved up again. And I think Tina Bitch moved down a little bit. Moving on next to the question 14. What is Rick Arlen's true name in Game 2, Stay Tuned for Danger? Got to do a little reading to find this one. Oh, yeah. I know exactly where to find it, but I'm not saying. <laughs> All right. It won't let me click. Oh. This is my challenge. I am a Rick Arlen stand. Yes! Rick Arlen stands in the house. Okay, so Richard Arbertuski. Well, you guys pointed it out in your playthrough. Yeah, it's uh, something that we we were surprised to find because it's actually a little cool piece of trivia. If I'm not mistaken, if you rearrange the letters of Arbatuski, you get Kaiser, as in BT Kaiser. So uh, that is a, what a lot of people will say. Actually, I think I misspelled Kaiser there. Wow. Yeah, that's that's my bad. But a lot of people stay say that that's... beautiful. <laughs> oh, top five stayed the same there. Good work, yeah, guys. Uh, otherwise, yeah, moving on to 15. I think this is another double points right here. Let's see what I wrote. Who is the woman who claims to have witnessed the monster in Game 24, The Captive Curse? This is something that Carl mentions pretty early in the game. I clicked the wrong one, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Was doing so well, I was in seventh place. I've steadily gone into the twenties. Ooh. Ooh, that was rough. Okay, looks like I'm I'm hitting some uh, some hard notes here on every fifth question because that's another one that's an even split. 
Magda is briefly mentioned in the game, but she is important for at least the first half. She is the first lady in the castle who has seen the monster and has apparently taken away to her room and won't let anybody in to see her. When Nancy asks about her to Carl, Carl insists that she won't take anybody in. Wow, that shook up the top five. Claire is back on her throne. Uh, let's see. I think I remember in you guys' review, you mentioned how you wish that she had been a character or, you know, like uh, yeah, her I and I think that. the dad. Yeah, the Mag dad character. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that Magda was um, a little underused in the game, but still like, a cool piece of the story. So yeah. moving on then. Teos has entered the top oh. five. What was the name of Bet Raleigh's clothing store from oh, Secret of Shadow Ranch? E easy. Shadow easy. Ranch Shadow Ranch fans will have more confidence in this. Looking at you, Sylvia. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love I it. this game so much and I never remember that. You only see it in the in the opening letter to the game, but since it's the opening letter, I've seen it all the time. Really? Bets, best bets. It's uh the one that's hardest to say. And then I just made up the other one, so that was... I could have made that one a double points question. That really threw a lot of people off. Who we win next? Ooh, Zach yeah, got knocked out. Ooh. Sylvia's coming back in with a nice answer streak. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, oh, Julian just cracked the top five. He said he would do it, and he did. <laughs> I just I just realized that's him, Hitmon Lee. Wow, okay. Uh, we're seeing a, a pretty shaky top five this game. I've Claire, I think, and Andrew are the two mains who've been holding it the whole game. I'm interested to see how this is going to end up. Moving on to the next question, 17. Which famous author wrote a letter to Jake Hurley? This is found by Frank and Joe Hardy halfway through the game. <laughs> this one's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope I'm remembering this correctly. <laughs> I'll let you know that you got better odds on this one. Okay. Oh, both... Okay. Yeah, I yeah, was I like, thought you, you guys are going to be so mean. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe was not the correct answer. So... Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, Mark Twain, he had a pen name of Samuel Clemens, so that was the correct answer for both of them. I kind of threw it in just to give people a mini heart attack when they saw that there were Isn't two different Isn't it the answers. other way around that Samuel Clemens was the real name? Or was it? I'm, I might I be completely off. The real name. Cause, cause Joe like. was like, it's not like it was Mark Twain or anything. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's right. Yeah, Joe. Maybe they were both fake Joe names. Voice. It's not very good. <laughs> and the top five remains unfazed. For now. 18. What does Renee call the Skeleton Man at the beginning of uh, Legend of the Crystal Skull? <laughs> a, a little, a little casual one to lighten things up. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, like, I like orange. That's my favorite response. <laughs> Gosh, I had to control myself from saying that answer out loud because it's that's really funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. I Death. Had a, I actually had a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night and Skeleton Man was like right there. Oh my God! That would have. That would have, like, given me, like, a sleep paralysis as a seven-year-old playing this game. <laughs> okay, then. I flex on you guys, but I am in 25th place right now. What was the name oh, of the monster God. that the Maya claimed represented life and death in Secret of the Scarlet Hand? Also hard flex with that 25th place, I heard that. That is not how you One game Frazier. I haven't finished. Okay. I pick yellow just for Brendan Fraser. I respect that. I should have made it a correct answer in hindsight. Thank you. All right. Hey, that messed up a lot of people. Uh, Huitzilopochtli, I believe, is the Aztec god translating to hummingbird on the left. I don't know why I remember that from sixth grade, but I do. So I thought I'd throw it in. Bicephalic monster is the correct answer. It's one of the quiz questions, I believe, in the temple keycard stuff. What did that do to the top five? Ooh! Ooh. Hitmon Lee just moved up to two. Julian just had a four-place jump. Wow. Yeah, and, so uh, answer the first question. God, okay, I'm actually kind of frightened of Julian's knowledge now. I, I thought that he might have been uh, struggling more. Maybe I should have made this stuff harder. Uh, otherwise, Weird Fishes and Andrew got knocked out a bit. Claire still holds reigning supreme at number one. Wow. 20, double points. All right, what did I make this one? What broadcast cannot be heard on the radio in the ranch house in Secret of Shadow Ranch? Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> this is a real niche one. No, I had oh, no, it's not. <laughs> my insanity is finally paying off I had to load up the game to confirm this because I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting it wrong I played this game multiple times how on earth did I even miss this it's completely optional hey good work though that was a better score than I expected and I completely got it correct so, yeah. somehow oh good work yeah the weather forecast is about thunderstorms and phoenix then there's a cattle auction event and then a commercial for big pink the cattle, that you, the cattle feed you never use in the animal feed puzzle what did that do this is upsetting 
Oh, that would be awesome though if Sheriff Hernandez was like reading the radio thing. He was reading yeah. like, the APB. It is yeah. Hernandez voice. <laughs> oh, I love I love Hernandez. Julian just got knocked from number two. That was easy come, easy go. Maybe he'll jump back in soon enough. Otherwise, Sylvia's back in. I think she might have been kicked. And Teos is in here too. Clay still reigns supreme. I, Claire, once we hit twenty five, we should. If you're still holding it, you take a second to like say what you're thinking. <laughs> Twenty one. What is the English translation of Yanni's last name, Volkstaya, in Correct. White Wolf of Icicle Creek? It's a it's a pretty literal last name. Why would you do this? Special thanks to Grant. Grant told me what it means, and it blew my mind. Because it, it's pro it's relevant to his character. I definitely answered it wrong then. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, wait a second. You, you gotta go off vibes. No, that was incorrect. I My apologies then. That, the correct answer is Wolfpack. I don't know why Fast Wings went through. <laughs> well then. You gotta go, that's what Wolfpack I'm saying, man. You gotta go off vibes. You literally gotta, you gotta trust. And I said Wolfpack. What? I went through this many a time, and I did not catch this mistake. Well then, um, looks like we just leveled some streaks. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought, baby. Vibes. <laughs> so Sylvia, hold on, hold on. I got I guess Sylvia got that one wrong then, but it I no, messed I up. Got it right. I got no, it right. No, no, you it, didn't. It, it, I messed up. That was on me. Okay, so. No, but it, it, that's correct. That's why you got to go off vibes. Oh, I was John afraid Gray, that was gonna happen. All the vibes character, they're they're right, man. It's about my niacin intake, baby. You guys are <laughs> niacin deficient. Okay, okay, it's it's all in the niacin. Let's uh let's hope that doesn't happen again. Yeah, Claire, I'm coming for you. Maybe you made a slice of peanut butter. Which is not a form of transportation in Phantom of Venice. This is a form you cannot use on the map. Oh, oh no! I have no idea what that is. What on earth oh. is a Vespa? I never heard of it. Happy I believe it is a scooter. Yeah, it's uh, the Italian scooter. Okay, 18 then. We have most of the correct answers there. Walking. So, to answer your question of what a Vespa is, it's that weird V thing that makes the motorized sound that's like in red. I think it's red on in the, the game, map. Yeah. Okay. So, Claire's still holding on. Wow, that's impressive. Let's see. Otherwise, we got Heligoth, weird fishes. Everyone's still hanging on. Cuckoo One Fruit has an answer to to three. Next question. 23 out of 50. Which United States does Nancy find behind the desk in her dorm in Warnings at Waverly Academy? Non-Americans. <laughs> this is also a reference to game, uh, the next game in the series, if that'll help you. Bit of a teaser. I'm not American, know, that's just my, so it's well, really difficult. <laughs> Sorry, non-Americans. Ooh, good try with the Ohio's there. Yes, I appreciate it. it. Is okay, so Nancy finds so Oklahoma. To target me. The one that looks like uh, the pan or the pot. So that takes us to Teos and Andrew are moving up, and somebody just got knocked out. I think that was Abracadabra, but I, I didn't see. T puzzle just hit answer streak of four. Nice work. Next. What does had it stand for from game five? There's a lot to read. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why you gotta I go off the, the green one. Oh yeah, this is the green one. <laughs> I'm to see how this one works out. <laughs> I like the red one. Oh nice. <laughs> that's her. that's the uh, highest accuracy yet, uh, with one person picking humble anarchists for the deterioration of industrious theaters. Okay. Yeah, break them down. Close <laughs> enough. Anarchists are humble. Okay. They're not, not braggadocious, they're just humble anarchists. Cute. Top five remains the same. We're only halfway done, though, so it's still anyone's game. 25. Double points here. Yep, it is. Double points. Which of the following is not a seashell necklace from Big Island Mike's in Game 15, oh, Creature Capture Cave? These are all different seashells that can be made. Seashell necklaces. Vibes. <laughs> just so you know, for the Phantom of Venice question, um... Uh, Nancy doesn't go on a Vespa, she goes in a Vaporetto, so... Oh, that's what it is. I just saw a V and I assumed it was a Vespa. <laughs> Island of Paradis is correct. Uh, so, yeah, Bird of Paradise is a necklace. Island of Paradis is something else entirely. If you know, you know. <laughs> so... One of the few people who likes that game pays off sometimes. Okay, Claire is still holding on. Okay, that's this is officially our halfway point, so let's take a look at the top five. Abracadabra in fifth. Sylvia in fourth, Andrew holding on to third, Teos in second, 
And Claire, Claire, would you want to turn on your mic for a second and uh, speak up? Um, I'm thinking back to the um, Shadow Ranch question about the radio. I used to like sit and listen to those as a kid. No for way. For some reason. So. <laughs> well, it looks like it's paying off now. Uh, I'm glad it helped. <laughs> does it say what your answer streak is right now? Just so you can tell everyone. I'm only at, I'm at four. Um, the the Yanni question <sighs> totally broke me. My apologies. I I feel like I broke too many people with that one. That's okay. This will this will not be if an officially ranked Kahoot. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to twenty six. What does Nancy conclude is the source of the hallucinations in Midnight in Salem? Let's be a little generous here. Ah, oh, I love this game. Hi. Uh, I like. I know. like. <laughs> 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 I have a heart. I have a heart. They are all correct. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, moving on. I that's just a green. just a freebie to get everyone back on. Did, I, I should have looked. Who had the who had the gall to pick green? Somebody. I think somebody did. I, I have because I have many issues. In Good. Gall. We all do. Yeah. And the list. Made that TRT remake did better than her and her <laughs> active. I should play that. Correct. Yeah. Every answer is correct. Moving on to twenty-seven. What did Rick Arlen eat for dinner that his stalker taunts him for? This is found oh. in a letter. <laughs> I, I was kicking myself over this. I thought it was the oh, funniest no, 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 thing. No, 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 Oh, is Andrew Fallen from Grace? Red wine with halibut is correct. The, uh, the stalker is very, uh, he holds on to that detail for a while. <laughs> Hey, that's an upset. Andrew, I think, messed that one up, but he's still in the top five. Molly B.H. has entered. I wonder if it is B.H. for Beach Hill. I don't know. Uh, Sylvia's at number two now. That's frightening. Yeah, Claire, I'm coming for you. My vibes, uh, my vibes, they will, Your they vibes will prevail. Your Might vibes. I add real quick that Claire does have a 5,000-point lead on Sylvia, so she may not be going anywhere anytime soon. It's still, yeah. it's still up to fate. It's still See, yeah. Listen, if there's any more of those tricky questions where you gotta pick the wrong answer, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I will have a chance. Yeah, I told you. I, I t you what was the name of the skull Bruno questions. Bollet claimed to have? <laughs> Sorry if you didn't hear that. It's what was the name of the skull Bruno Bollet claimed to have in Game 17? This is oh, this is an easy one. one. So oh God, please. I made them all simple. I mean, similar. Oh, it's anything no, but I simple. I just did the wrong one. Oh. Similar to make me suffer and click the wrong one. Hey, Jameson, if we really want to throw Claire off. Let's add troll questions next time. <laughs> no, Andrew, you can add troll questions to yours. I only add my troll questions by accident with Volkstaya. <laughs> Andrew just reclaimed number three and bumped Teo's down a little bit, but otherwise we're the same. 29 out of 50. Who does Kasumi write to in her recurring letters in Shadow at the Water's Edge? <laughs> I just realized that green makes zero sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you picked that. <laughs> and they just heard me say that. Okay. 23, her pen pal Marianne. No, she was not writing uh, letters to the paranormal investigator who was investigating her ghost after her death. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah. Dear Savannah, when I die, please investigate my ghost. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Top five still remains unfazed. 30 now, double points. Okay, what is this? What was the name of the Sapphire in Rico Tata Hires You to Steal in Game set, uh, 18, Phantom of Venice? Uh, I did not know this one, actually. I just, I I just want to make that clear. I played this game a whole bunch, and I don't even know, oh, I know this. I know it, this one. Question, is that locket on the front supposed to be Nancy's locket? It, it might be. looking actually kind of nice. Might. I never thought I of that. I believe it could be. Sadala Malik is correct. Is a snob. I hate Margarita so much. Okay, so that was about an even split there. Uh, we had one vote for Sea of Flames. We had eight for Jewel of Karnak, which I believe is the jewel that they talk about in the dossier game. Still haven't beat that, by the way. I uh, should probably finish it soon. Otherwise, uh, Zack and Abracadabra are back in the top five. I think that... I, I didn't even see who got knocked out, but that's okay. 31 now. Who develops a hopeless crush on Sunny June in oh, Game 30 boy. of the Shadow Medallion? This is, this is going to be a how fast can you answer kind of deal. Unless I got it wrong again. <laughs> Which I did not. Yay. Okay, so 26. Best. That's some high accuracy right there. Uh, I think the Chaz... correct answer is everyone who was playing the game. Yeah, that's... Objection. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm okay, okay. It's a joke. Because he's... It's a joke. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Claire's still holding on. Oh, the gap has diminished a little bit. It's more like uh, 4,000 or 3,500 points between her and Yeah. Sydney. There's still about 18 questions left. What's the magic word? I can't do the voice. What's the magic word in Curse of Blackmore Manor? To be fair, it is a phrase. 
and this is a grievance many people have brought up. Oh gosh. <laughs> magic word, Zoya. magic word. What's the magic word? Clever. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, Lulu is a very clever and beautiful bird. I'm glad people got that. Lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. Garfield out here, holding on for dear life. <laughs> Top five remains unfazed once again. It looks like we might be settling in for a bit. 33. Which of the following is not a candy sold at Ma and Pa's general store in Trail of the Twister? <clears throat> now, I'm going to I'm gonna do a little favor to my buddy Chase here. Uh... Just one second. Yeah, moon cheese is not a candy. So that is also a correct answer. <laughs> Although you got 100% accuracy on that one. Nice work, everybody. How about that? We yeah. know our candies. No, if it's All in the right. candy section, it's in the candy section. No exceptions. It's cheese is not candy, Andrew. You don't know what you're saying. It's in the candy section, it is. <laughs> 34. What was the name of Red Knot's dog in Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake? Was Ruth? Oh, 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 okay. Well, I was trying to do a quote there, but I said the answer. But luckily, almost everyone had answered already. Yeah, uh, Nancy says, was Ruth your wife? And he just goes, good heavens, no. So, does so, that mean you have to keep yourself out now, Jameson? No, no, I, I, I said the first half of the name, even though it's one syllable. <laughs> Moving on now, let's look at the top five. Let's forget about what just happened. Okay, still unfazed. Four players with an answer streak of seven. Uh, yeah, looking good. Next question, 35 out of 50. Double points. Which was not one of El Toro's seven ships? Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> this, I know, I, these I names know. are all seen on the hourglass puzzle towards the end of the game. Wh why? 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 That's what I'm paying attention to. Okay, one of them is kind of obvious. I, I just, I thought that when I made it, but okay. <laughs> Correct. The crawdad <laughs> is just yeah. another word Anybody for crayfish. Anybody been crawdad fishing? Just for fun. Kind of nice. They pinched me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pick them up and then throw them back. Okay. Kind so. of weird looking things. We had a we had a couple a couple shakes there, but twenty three is a pretty good score cumulatively. Andrew is out. Whoa. Oh my goodness, he's gone. Andrew. Oh, no. Riley and Abracadabra have been reinstated in the top five now. Uh, yeah. Anson was is a boring game in my opinion, so that's why. <laughs> okay, he's, I can respect that. Thirty six now. What unconventional form of transportation does Nancy adopt in uh, Hauntings of Castle Malloy? This is. A bit of a gimme right here. Gosh, I wish I had the same method. I legit could not think of any other questions to ask about Castle Malay. There's just, like, nothing I remembered about, remembered about the game. How dare you. Are you a cycle? <laughs> Take that! Probably Kaylee. <laughs> or Nick, if he's in here. I don't know if Nick's in here. Just because it's true doesn't mean you need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kaylee, alright. So, top five is still holding on strong. Wow, Claire might actually be the, uh, the reigning Cheryl of the, of the day. Moving on to 37. Which past character does Brenda Carlton allude to in Game 25, The Alibi and Ashes? This is a, a pretty, a pretty uh, obvious nod to a previous game. When this question is up, tell me when she does this, because I don't remember. Okay. Uh, let's see. Correct answer is Josiah Crowley from Game 12. There's a part in the, when you're talking with her, I believe it's when you play as Ned. That she claims that the town hall fire is the most interesting thing that's going on around here since old man Crowley's will was found. Which yeah. was uh, a kind of a, a weird paradoxical nod because that implies Nancy's existence 80 yeah, years ago. You know, I feel like this is cheating because we talked about that on the review that I was on. So I was like, uh, oh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Sylvia, you being who you are is cheating, okay? You have so many benefits here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm insane. I, I accept it. I've, I've spent way too much time listening to you guys as a playthroughs of these games. Chaz vs. Jazz has a streak of 16 in a row. Should point that out. Moving on next now. 38. What is the name of the item pictured in Nefertari's hand in this thumbnail picture from Tomb of the Lost Queen? It's the uh, one on the right side of the screen. That hand. That's a weird question. It is a weird question. I couldn't think of anything to do for Tomb of the Lost Queen. <laughs> there we go. 25 correctly answered Ankh. Uh, I believe that Hotep is just an Egyptian name that I pulled out of nowhere. And then Huipul is actually one of the... Uh, it's it's so, it's an answer from one of the quizzes in Secret of the Scarlet Land. So that's all I know for sure. Based the Joker 69 is making a comeback. Okay, mm -hmm. I gotta ask, who is Based Joker 69? I This, this is the question that eludes me. It's Nick? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Good job, Nick. <laughs> Why so serious? 
Which puzzle and haunted carousel went on to be used in both games 9 and 10? So three games in a row featured this puzzle. Or at least a reskin of it. Why would you do this? <laughs> Not many carousel fans, I guess. Whoa, that what? was a pretty hard split right there. The correct wow. answer is Squid Toss. So that gets reskinned in Deception Island as the rock skipping minigame, and it reskinned again mm. in Secret of Shadow Ranch when you throw the bricks out of the jail cell. It's just uh. you pick you pick the angle and you pick the power and then you throw something. Squids, rocks, and bricks. Alright, that was a bit of an upset. I don't see Andrew in here. Did he just get kicked out of it or was he not in there in the first place? I wasn't there for a while. Okay, never mind then. I, I, I heard you a bit disappointed by messing that one up. Okay. Oh, three players just dropped their streak of 11. That's pretty intense right there. Yeah, it looks like the points are pretty close. I think ending up on the scoreboard could be re a reality for most people right now. Like, I, I mm, got some points left up. Next Probably, one's double. Yeah. That's cool. I'm in 24th place, so I don't think that's going to happen. But Double points <laughs> here. What is the name of Katie Firestone's boat in Danger on Deception Island? I just found that's this out right. recently, and it made me so happy. <laughs> I remember seeing that in your walkthrough, yeah. I know, I was so excited about it. <laughs> the Orchestra! So, uh, let's see. The Orca is the name of the tiny boat from Jaws. The Firestone is just Katie's last name, and then I forget where I saw C do. I think it was on a TV show or something. Otherwise, that's a 13 correct on that. Big shake where up was, there. Where was oh, it no. mentioned? Sylvia, Sylvia, did you just get a danger on Deception Island question wrong? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a fake fan. I got the other one wrong, too. The puzzle. Okay, I only know this I because I'm a... Okay, I answer only know it. this because I'm a faithful watcher of the channel. So that's wow. the only reason. And, okay, and, Andrew, to answer your question, if you when you kayak back to the boat, you can see it out of the corner of your eye. It says orchestra with an apostrophe. I don't think anyone directly says it, but it's there on Katie's boat, plain as day. It's It rewards the observant, I guess. Let's see. If you only ask Danger by Design questions in Capo Cave, I'd be doing great. <laughs> what is Aunt Eloise's job at Paseo Del Mar High? I didn't get to read that one, but it's a pretty simple question. Do, do. Did you say Danger by Design in Capu Cave? Yeah, if you just did those ones, I'd be killing it. That is the a pretty that no weird combo. <laughs> yeah. There might that's be still no some of those. Me. Okay, yellow is correct, librarian. I do not. <laughs> we know. Danger yeah. by Design's... Eh. Oh, God. Claire has 20 correct in a row. This is... Wow. That's terrifying. And the gap is strengthened. It's 6,000 now. Claire's too dangerous to be kept alive. Where is a horse's frog? Uh, I love this one. Um... <laughs> this is one of Texas' questions before you can go riding. I think I jokingly asked where's a horse's hawks earlier in this call. You did. I was <laughs> kind of worried you said you'd ask where's a horse's frog. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then. The correct answer is the bottom of its hoof. I, I definitely always get that one wrong when he asks it to me, so I decided to pose it to you guys. Next. Top five still riding steady. Let's see if I can change that. What game does Tina require you to play to get a pen in Last Train to Blooming Canyon? Fox and geese? <laughs> I was, I was going to make one of them that. It's a, it's a little puzzle, but it's fun. 22, uh, answered correctly, Leapin' Lizards. That is the little game where you just move one peg over the other in his uh, Jake Hurley's car. Otherwise, top five is the same up here. Uh, Zach is in fifth place, and we still have Claire holding down the fort. Up next, 44. What is the correct combination for the old souvenir key maker in Final Scene? This is, a, this is a word that I, for some reason, would never forget. <laughs> I am getting it. Wait, Bimbo? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go. That's what I'm Bimbo hours. Yeah, I really wanted to take that one. Correct answer is Sivo, S-I-V-O. Uh, I believe Pivo is the Polish word for beer. I think Kaylee told me that once. So, Does looks like Sivo a lot of people put that. Uh, Sivo? No, it means nothing. <laughs> and I think Vivo is Spanish for something. Life. Or maybe it's Italian. I think Vivo is that music company, maybe? Yeah, that's what it is. That's where I've seen it. Uh, oh. Little upset in the top five. Abracadabra is now number two, and Sylvia is number three. Chaz versus yeah, Jeff. Oh, I think yeah. Chaz just lost their streak. That was a pretty big one. 
Apparently, CFO is a thing. It's like a money thing. Huh. Mm, I wonder if there's any relation. Up next, 45 double points here. What did well, I make? Well, you do one? pay a quarter to make a who key, is, so. Who is the founder or progenitor of the Penvalin family tree? This might be a little obvious. <laughs> Oh, but it still split people pretty hard. Nigel Mukherjee says in one of your first conversations with him that Ranolf the Red, who was thought to have a strange stone that gave him powers or something, was the uh, progenitor, as he says, of the family tree and ended up, I think, building Thornton Hall and starting the bloodline. So that was a pretty difficult one. It it's also like. one of the uh, entries. It's the very top of the, Hall too? of the tree. Yeah, at the very top of the tree, Ranolf the Red. I did say Thornton Hall, didn't I? You can ask her about him. Yeah, I meant to say the <laughs> Penville Estate, my bad. Whoa! Abracadabra just went from fourth to God knows where. How about that? So, J-Cat has re-entered. Enter Sandman should start playing. 46. Which Russian expert does Nancy call in the haunted carousel? You, -Cat. you need to win this for me specifically. It's too bad Grant's not here. For oh, my idol that... picked it up as Russian hacker for a sec. <laughs> Many a Russian expert in these games, but only one in game eight. That's correct for the most part. Uh, 17 got Anton Sukov, who yep. is the carousel expert. I think Nancy finds his number in a magazine. Irina Predovichu is game 9, yep. and Paliki Vadas is game 11. And let's see. Top 5 remains unshaken. People are featuring carousel experts in magazines. <laughs> yeah, God, I wish. Only four questions remain. Uh, I, I don't even know if it's, it's safe to call it yet, but it looks like it might be Claire. Moving on to next. There's still plenty of room in the top five. According to Carl, what is Germany most famous for? Oh, how'd that get me? <laughs> it's not even not even technically correct, because uh, you, know, you could blame a lot of that on Vienna. You know? Correct. Technically wasn't a part of Germany. Board Story games is correct. <laughs> I admire the four of you who, who were brave enough to say <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so, yes, Board Games is correct. He is uh, very big on the Board Game Committee. Claire has just hit 50,000 points. That must be uh, recognized. Okay, 48 now. Which is not a haunting that appears in Shadow at the Water's Edge? Although that haunting should have been, in my opinion... Wow. 23 goes to Eerie Singing. Okay. Who? That's the correct answer. Eerie Singing. Uh, seven. Yes, Kasumi's face being seen in the pond is an actual haunting. It's pretty rare to find. It happens under the bridge, and it's honestly one of the spookiest in the game because it's so unexpected. If yeah. you have not seen that, then yeah, I'd yeah. recommend looking for it in another playthrough. Yeah. It's. Sorry, what were you yeah, saying? It's at the part where you pick up those rocks. Yeah, that's usually when it happens. Okay, top five is still on the on the same place. Uh, six players are answer streak of three. 49, second last one. Who is revealed to be the anonymous benefactor of the Healy Healy facility in game 15, Creature of Capu Cave? Oh, my brother and I were just talking about this last night. Brilliant. Really? That's lucky for you. Who, okay, uh, Richard Aikens is correct. That threw a lot of people off. P.G. Krollmeister is the other famous industrialist. Uh, but Richard Aikens of Aikens Biotech is the people who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to go investigate the, the Mapus. So that is where he fits into the story. So how did that affect the top five? Heavily. Uh, Weird Fish just jumped up by two. He might take second place overall now. Everything's going to change right here. We have uh, the current lineup is Claire, Zach, Sylvia, Chaz, and then J-Cat. Let's see how this goes. Number 50, final question. <laughs> Double points, of course. Let's go. In the, in the message in Haunted Mansion endgame letter, what is the mansion named? I, I had to Good go through a little research to find this. <laughs> Appreciate the eagle reference. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, yeah. I mean, it is it is San Francisco, so. That That mm. is true. 18. Most people got that one correct. Wow, I, I didn't even know that before making this. The Golden Gardenia is the correct answer. Uh, the Applegate, a good try. 
Damn, I didn't get any one with Hotel California. That's too bad. Well then, <laughs> thanks again for playing, everybody. Let's take a look at the podium. I believe, uh... Okay, third place is Chaz versus Jazz. Thank you, thank you. Second goes to Yay! Sylvia. And first place... Claire. Ah, Claire, Ooh, what is your handle in the Discord? Is it just also Claire? And Weird Fishes and Jake? Um, it used to be I used to be Shorty Shorty. I think I'm like I think I'm just like Wait, what am I? I'm CJS Bell now. That's who it is. How long have you been in the Discord, Claire? Um, I think since, since the new year. Really? That's okay, good while then. So I, uh, I subscribed last year though. Nice. Elephant in the room. I messed up on a question, so I guess this can't be seen as an official gauge of Nancy Drew trivia knowledge. <laughs> So, uh, my apologies for that. Are there, uh, maybe statistics I can see in here? Yeah, okay, this is cool. Uh, so, otherwise, let's see, the most difficult question... Oh, look at that, it's the one that I completely messed up <laughs> on. <laughs> okay, so, of course, I'm sorry for the people who lost their streaks to that. Uh, there were definitely some technical difficulties going on, so I know that not everybody had their best foot forward, like Julian couldn't figure out how to see the questions, and some other people had that problem, too. And, again, my mistakes. 48% correct it's overall. Okay. I still screwed up on a number of questions. I think this was the hardest one, honestly. Yeah, probably because it took me so long to make. God. Um, I'm excited to do another cut sometime soon. I'm trying to honestly think of a milestone that I can make up so that we have an excuse to do another one. 30 people was an excellent turnout. I'm so excited that we got so many. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you guys came for this. So thanks again, and go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't even know how to finish this. Okay. Well then, thanks again, everybody, for joining us again this time. I am so glad that we could do this. Once again, 1,000 subscribers. Bigger milestone than I thought we'd be hitting any time around now. Thanks so much for joining the Discord, if you didn't already, and just hopped in for the Kahoot. I appreciate everyone who stayed up late or woke up early in different time zones to make this one. So regardless... Uh, Again, just thank you so much, everybody. I'm glad you... I hope you had fun. Thanks, Julian. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It was so much fun. Looking forward to the next one. Have a nice yeah. night, everybody. Thanks for playing. Fight the Take power. care. Yeah, remember to vote for Holt. Oh, yeah, that too. Vote for Holt. Stay beautiful. <laughs> vote for Holt.